Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 34 for the year 2017, ratifying the protocol for amendment of Article 50A of the International Civil Aviation Agreement and the protocol for the amendment of Article 56 of the International Civil Aviation Agreement, signed in Montreal on the 6th of October 2016 and attached to the decree. The Minister of Transportation and Te Telecommunications will implement the provisions of the decree effective from the date of its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 17 for the year 2017 regarding the ratification of the Protocol for Amendment of the Agreement signed in Manama between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco to avoid dual taxation and tax evasion on income tax, dated the 25th of April 2016, and attached with this law. The Prime Minister and the Ministers will implement the law effective from the next day following its publication in the official Gazette. His Majesty the King held a round of talks with the custodian of the two holy mosques at the Salam Palace in Jeddah. The meeting was also attended by the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nayaf bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King congratulated the Saudi monarch on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, praying the Almighty to bestow King Salman with abundant health and happiness, and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for his warm and generous hospitality, which reflects the existing deep-rooted fraternal ties. The Saudi monarch welcomed His Majesty the King, hailing the bilateral relations that tie the two countries. The two sides went on to review the historical relations that continue to witness further advancement in all fields. They also reviewed the efforts exerted by the two countries in bolstering strategic cooperation on all issues across the region in order to achieve common interests and enhance the GCC's march to the benefit of its peoples. His Majesty the King asserted that the historical relationship between the two ruling families and the two brotherly peoples was one of the foundations on which the relations between the countries of the region as a whole were based. He also underscored that the unified decisions taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the Arab Republic of Egypt were necessary to confront the threats to the people and undermine the country's stability. His Majesty the King said the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to a firm approach and has been since ancient times and will not deviate from that path. He added that Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are an integral part of all that will unify the ranks, the word and position and increase the strength of the Gulf Cooperation Council towards further prosperity and development. His Majesty hailed the custodian of the two holy mosques for his noble position and clear contribution to the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations and his pioneering role in promoting cooperation between the countries of the world as well as the coexistence between different cultures and peoples based on the values of tolerance, mutual respect and peace amongst all. His Majesty also underlined the result of the historic summits hosted by Riyadh between the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the United States of America and the Arab American Islamic Summit. He said that the Kingdom of Bahrain seeks good and peace for all and works with all its strength and unwavering determination to do so. Therefore, it always stands with the custodian of the two holy mosques and with Saudi Arabia for its full faith and confidence to guarantee security, stability and confronting all manifestations and attempts to spread chaos. During the meeting, they also discussed the latest regional, Arab and international developments as well as exchanging views on issues of common concern. In honour of His Majesty the King, the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, held an iftar banquet on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Earlier in the day, His Majesty the King arrived in Jeddah to meet with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty will conduct with the Saudi monarch discussions regarding the deep-rooted historic relations, the latest regional and international updates and issues of common interest. 
His Majesty the King was welcomed at King Abdulaziz International Airport by the Governor of Mecca and advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid al Faisal, the Minister of Commerce and Investment, Dr. Majid al Qasebi, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah al Khalifa, Consul General of Bahrain in Jeddah, Ibrahim al Muslamani, and the Mayor of Jeddah. Hani Abu Ras. In a press statement, His Majesty expressed pleasure in meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques to discuss the latest developments. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the support the Kingdom receives to maintain its security and stability in light of Qatari Iranian interventions which date back over some time. His Majesty added that Qatari interventions have affected Arab and Islamic countries which leaves no option but to undergo the measures that have been taken to maintain security and stability. He stressed the need for the Qatari leadership to correct the course of its policy and to commit its conventions it had agreed to in order to prevent the spread of chaos and to eliminate all practices that undermine the region's security, stability and unity to restore relations with the dear people of Qatar. Over the course of history, Bahrain has chosen to join hands with Saudi Arabia to preserve religion, Arabism, coexistence, tolerance and good neighbourliness. The Royal Court has announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will head to the Arab Republic of Egypt tomorrow on a visit during which he will hold talks with President Adel Fattah Al Sisi on historical fraternal bilateral relations as well as regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited yesterday the Majlis of the Bin Hindi family, the Majlis of Ali Rashid Al Amin and the Majlis of Sheikh Adul Al Mauda. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness during the Majlis visits. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahrain's long-standing diversification efforts have helped the country adjust to global economic challenges, with the non-oil sector making up more than 80% of the Kingdom's economy. He also highlighted that Bahrain will continue to introduce initiatives that encourage innovation and creativity in key economic sectors that deliver high-quality jobs. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain will continue to adopt initiatives designed to strengthen the Kingdom's economy and enhance capabilities and expertise. He went on to say that innovative policies contribute to the Kingdom's long-standing diversification efforts and sustainable development goals, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that innovative legal frameworks introduced by the Legislative Authority play a crucial role in strengthening sustainable development efforts and facilitating investments across key economic sectors. He highlighted the strong social bonds and ethics that shape Bahraini society, further stressing that the Kingdom's society robustly upholds its social and religious values. His Royal Highness noted that the values of moderation are shared across Bahraini society, ensuring the Kingdom is in strong position to directly tackle extremist ideologies. He emphasised that the policies and strategies currently being adopted in Bahrain play an important role in delivering progress and securing a positive future for all Bahrainis. The Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for the visit and highlighted the instrumental role His Royal Highness plays and continues to play in advancing sustainable development and driving non-oil growth.
Assistant Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabir al Dosri met with the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Prince Said bin Rad al Hussein, at the United Nations headquarters in Geneva. Al Dosri expressed appreciation for the role of the High Commissioner in protecting human rights. The two parties discussed means of enhancing bilateral action and benefiting from the expertise and programs of the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. That's the OHCHR. The Assistant Foreign Minister Minister affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to human rights and implementing legal procedures to combat extremism and terrorism, as well as establishing justice and activating the principle of constructive partnership with local, regional and international human rights bodies in cooperation with the OHCHR. al Noemi stressed that the freedom of speech, peaceful assembly, establishing societies and unions and the exercise of political and human rights activities are guaranteed by the Constitution and the law, provided that they are based on the national objectives and carried out in a peaceful manner without prejudice to religion, public order or class or on the basis of gender, race, language, religion or creed and not to incite racial, national or religious hatred. The Assistant Foreign Minister extended an official invitation to the High Commissioner to visit the Kingdom to enhance cooperation at various levels, including technical support and exchange of expertise. The High Commissioner welcomed the Assistant Foreign Minister and the accompanying delegation, commending the Kingdom's keenness on cooperating with the OHCHR and enhancing joint action to achieve the common goal of promoting human rights. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for the kind invitation and promised a prompt response.